Good afternoon. Welcome back to Girded with Truth. Yesterday we spoke about blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. But who is the Holy Spirit? So Jesus would have come to die for us. And he was 100% man when he walked the earth. So he had limited reach. He could not be in all places at once. But when he was about to be crucified, John chapter 16 verse 7 tells us, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I would send him unto you. And he was saying for him to be able to reach each person through the spirit the way he wants to, he has to be sacrificed. So the first part of God reaching us, dwelling with us and being with us is Jesus Christ dying for us in order for the comforter to come. And the comforter is really an advocate. John 14, 26 says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. So the Holy Spirit, who is our Comforter, who is our guide, who fills us, who is our advocate, he will teach us all things and he will bring back to our remembrance he will deposit in our spirits the things that jesus has taught us because he said if we love him we will obey his commandments the holy spirit is available to each and every one of us because acts chapter 2 verse 17 to 18 says and it shall come to pass in the last days said god i will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. So we see the Holy Spirit being poured out from God himself unto us. And we see in that when the Holy Spirit is poured out into us, that we are able to prophesy, we are able to gain visions, we are able to dream dreams. So the Holy Spirit empowers us and enables us to really walk in purpose. The Holy Spirit also sanctifies us. As we learn in Romans chapter 15 verse 16, it says that I should be the minister of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles, ministering the gospel of God that the offering up of the Gentiles might be acceptable, being sanctified by the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost sanctifies us for the work that God has given us to do. He brings us under the umbrella of sanctification so that we can walk holy and righteous before God. And Romans 15, 13 says that now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. So we see here that through the power of the Holy Ghost, we are able to preach the gospel. We are able to tell a story. When we have an encounter with the Holy Ghost, we get a testimony because our life is changed because we are now headed in a different direction because we see God differently because we know that the Holy Ghost, when he comes to us, the, the spirit of truth comes because he is the spirit of truth. So now that we walk in truth, we now have a testimony. We now have a story. We now have an experience we can hold on to to say, look where god brought me from and it's not to say that it may have been completely bad but it's to say that now your eyes are open now you can see through the lens of truth 
because you have come away from living a lawless, living a sinful, living a life below who God has called you to be and you are now able to walk in truth. And the Holy Ghost is also a teacher. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 13 says, Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. So the Holy Ghost gives us a new standard by which we should live. He causes us to live in the spiritual and not in the carnal. He causes us to depend on the spirit and not on the flesh. So he teaches us how to walk with God. He teaches us how to go deeper with our Christian walk. He teaches us how to walk in purpose effectively because the Holy Ghost is our advocate, but he's also our teacher. He teaches us all things. Romans chapter 14 verse 17 says, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. This talks about our relationship with the Holy Ghost. So we get peace, we get joy, we get all these things, but it is kept because of our connection and our relationship with the Holy Ghost. It is only by the Spirit of God can we successfully execute a Christian life, a Christian walk, a Christian purpose, because it is our connection to God that drives us, that pulls us, that strengthens us. It is the Holy Spirit that enables us to continue in this walk with God. It is the Holy Ghost that empowers us to effectively walk in purpose. And the Holy Ghost empowers us to be kingdom minded, to focus on the kingdom of God rather than things of this earth. Yes, we ought to live a balanced life, but we cannot be so busy living life here on earth that we neglect the kingdom of God. So in everything that we do, we ought to consider the kingdom of God. So as we walk in purpose, as we walk filled with the Holy Ghost, empowered for anything that comes against us, for anything that comes to us, let us walk in truth, let us walk in love, let us walk in peace, let us walk in righteousness, and let us walk knowing that God has sent a comforter to be our advocate and to lead us in any space or in any way in which we need guidance. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye.